Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I'm gonna be talking about a really, really crazy backrooms level called Bloodlust Masquerade, or level 7777. This one is extremely cool and really scary, and it has all of the perfect elements of a terrifying level built into it. So I think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms level 7777, aka Bloodlust Masquerade, starts with a warning for anyone who might get shocked or goofed up with stuff like mental trauma or light descriptions of gory stuff. If that kind of stuff messes with you, then you probably shouldn't continue. But as always, I do censor everything pretty much, so you're not going to really hear anything. You're just going to hear code words for deep things. So... The level itself looks like a smallish house from the late 1990s. There's bookshelves on the wall, and the floors have a brownish carpet color. But the carpet itself is covered in a red liquid that typically comes out of people sometimes, if you know what I'm saying. The walls themselves are also painted red, if you know what I'm saying. But this red stuff is all over everything. There's actually been DNA tests done on this liquid, and it's been linked to the same people who have actually been on this level before. Even if they didn't get hurt, it still can match to them, which is really interesting. There are three main rooms in this house on the first floor, and those are the living room, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. All of them have this weird effect called the level 7777 effect, and I'll get into what that means in a second. So buckle up. There's actually a second floor to this house as well with two smallish bedrooms. Now this floor is the only one with windows since the first floor is completely dark. But when you look outside of the windows, it's just a glitchy distorted void. There's nothing out there. The windows also won't even open, so you just gotta look through the glass. And they don't even give light, really. Just instead a kind of a faint glow. So it's recommended to bring a flashlight if you're going to be coming to this level, but trust me, you're probably going to want to avoid the level. When you shine your flashlight in some rooms, you can see that in the different areas, some of them have a black and white effect, meaning that everything you see will be black and white only. Like I said though, this only happens in some specific rooms, so no one knows why, but it's really weird. So now I'm going to explain that thing I mentioned earlier called the level 777 effect. Tighten down your seatbelts. This gets insane. So now I'm going to talk about the level 7777 effect, which appears to everybody as a active cognito hazard. This could really mess you up if you don't keep your sanity with you and your bearings straight. So get ready. The second you get to this level, you'll smell rotting and decaying flesh of some sort. Now this smell is kind of wafting through the entire level and it doesn't really lead to one thing at first until you start to follow the smell you'll be led to one of the rooms that i talked about earlier and if you walk into that room suddenly you'll feel like you're standing in a pool of quote unquote red paint wink wink if you know what i'm saying or you'll feel like you're standing on a floor made out of flesh if you know what i mean now if you feel this stuff on your feet whatever you do don't look down because of what happens if you do. If you look down at whatever you're standing on, the darkness that's in this level will start to fade away and you'll be able to see in full brightness what you're standing on. And what you'll see is every friend or family member or person you know in real life will be under you. Wink, wink. If this happens, then you'll start to go insane, obviously, because you're seeing people you love and care about just there under you unalived. Once this insanity starts, there's literally no going back. You'll just keep getting worse. You'll feel hopeless and guilty and sorrowful and sad. But the best thing you can do if you get stuck in this 7777 effect is to try to just chill in the corner of the room until the grief is passed. When this grief state is over, most people will still go insane from what they just experienced, which makes sense because obviously what you just saw when you looked down the good news is, is that if you don't show many emotions, or if you're pretty emotionally strong, or if you're a sociopath, then the level 777 effect won't really mess you up. You'll kind of just go on like normal. But if you're really emotional and things like this mess you up in the head, then it's going to be tough. So, 
So that was the dangerous cognito hazard effect for this level, and that's what makes this level extremely dangerous, and you probably should avoid it at all costs. So when this level was discovered originally, it was just a class zero, because everybody thought that it was a chill house that was just really dark. Soon after that though, people started discovering the level effect, and some of the survivors of the effect are completely insane, off the deep end, but they remember every morbid detail about what they saw, and they're just extremely traumatized. There aren't any documented entities here, but there is believed to be a couple of undocumented ones, but it also might be that the entire level itself is an entity because of what it can do. So, yeah. To enter this level, for whatever reason, you can go into a house on level 9 that will link up to this level, or you can enter from the hub sometimes if you see red paint, wink wink, on the floor. There's only two exits to the level. The first one is you make it through that cognito hazard by being emotionally stable or not having emotions, and if you make it through just fine, you'll be sent to another level. And the other exit is by unaliving. So, <laughs> you better start getting those emotions in check if you want to leave. So yeah, that was level 7777. I really hope you enjoyed this one. It was definitely a crazy and terrifying level and just utterly insane if you ask me. This is the best thing about the horror of the back room. Sometimes it can be just literally gut-wrenching and sometimes it can be like this, which is past gut-wrenching. Anyways, thank you all for watching and supporting me. Thank you for supporting the channel. Hope you're having a great summer so far, and I hope you're loving all the videos I'm putting out. Make sure you check below for any links you might want, like my second channel or Discord or Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure to comment down below how you would deal with this level, because I think it would be absolutely terrifying, and I don't know how I would deal with it, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoy, thank you for watching and supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. And hopefully you can sleep good tonight after what I just told you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you for supporting me. I mean, I I cannot believe how fast the channel is growing, guys, and I'm really just so appreciative to you. I have literally infinite things planned, and I, I don't even joke when I say that. I mean, I have so much planned for this channel and my second channel. It's going to be incredible. I have some huge life-changing things that are going to be happening soon um, on both channels, and it's going to be just awesome. I hope you're ready. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace and love.